Hey YouTube, it is Kwanzaa Day 2. Kwanzaa Day 2. And the principle of today is Kuji Chagulia. I repeat, Kuji Chagulia. I'll spell that for you. It's K U J I C H A G U L I A. Um, I've got two definitions coming from do two different sources of the meaning of that word in reference to Kwanzaa and um, the principle it represents. Basically, it means self-determination. Self-determination requires that we define our common interests and make decisions that are in the best interest of our family and community. And I found another definition that I actually like better. It says to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. So I want to talk a little bit today about Kuji Chagulia, what it means to you, what it means to me, give you a little bit of what I think. Um, Self-determination. Wanted to know how do you define our community? Are you participating in our community to create our community? Are you taking the reins and being the leader you wish to see? and how we can improve on our own definition of ourselves. I was saying I like that second definition about defining ourselves, naming ourselves, creating ourselves, and speaking for ourselves. Because I do think that so many things have been brought upon us in the African American community from outside sources that have been brought upon us and we have grabbed the reins as our own and they have nothing to do with us. I think it even goes to the stereotypes that we continue to perpetrate about our own selves and con things we, we continue to say that are negative about our communities that in some instances aren't even true. We've just heard them so much for so long and they definitely may not be true in your life but because you've heard them so long and they've become these cute little fucked up cliches, we just continue to say them and we make them become reality and we give breath and life to the fucked upness <laughs> to me in our community and I think that's one thing we can do in our community is to stop stop saying some of the negative things we say define ourselves a totally different way just try it I mean so many people say so many negative things about the African community African American community within the African American community why not try something new so that's how I think of when I see when I see this principle, self-determination, what it means to me, is defining my community for myself and those around me. Now, not allowing stereotypes to be heaped upon us that in so many instances are not true. Or if they are, who cares? You know what I mean? Like the whole stereotype of eating chicken and watermelon. Who cares? Some people are embarrassed to do that. Who cares? Um, the stereotype of black people don't get along, black women don't get along, black men don't get along. This fucked up, made up gender war between black men and black women that many of us are giving breath and life to, but in essence really does not exist as a whole. So that's what I think we have to do when we define ourselves and name ourselves and create our own destiny within ourselves is stop the negativity. I'll be speaking more of this, I'm sure, in the coming days because I'm such on a roll about this, the things we say about ourselves that we initially give breath and life to that are not true, but we make them true because we say them so much. Um, so I want to get some feedback from you. What does that mean to you, self-determination? What does it mean to you to define your community for yourself, to name your community, to create your community? to speak for your own community. What do you have to say about your community? Um, like I said, there's so many negative things said. What positive do you have to say about your community? All right, hear me back, y'all. I'd love to see response videos or a comment in the section below. Um, again, today is Kwanzaa Day 2, Kuji Chagulia, self-determination. Love to hear from you, and thanks for listening.